Hi, in this video I will show you how to create such a part in Plasticity. I will create a new project and we will start by creating a sketch on the XY plane. To ensure that the sketch will be created on this plane, I will simply switch to the top view. Now I will create a rectangle. I will place the first corner of the rectangle at the origin of the coordinate system. I press tab to specify the dimensions of this rectangle. This dimension is 80 millimeters. Then I press tab again and here I enter 40 millimeters. Press enter to confirm. Now I choose to draw a circle. Here I just hold down the left mouse button and hover over this command. I draw a circle by specifying two points of the circle and I define those points here and here. As you can see before clicking in this place, snap appear, and as the snap activates, I simply click the left mouse button to connect these circle points with the corners of the rectangle. Now I choose to trim geometry, and I trim this geometry. OK, right click to accept it, then I select draw a circle again, but this time I select this command, and I draw a circle in the center of this circle. Here, as you can see, a snap is active. I click the left mouse button here, press tab, and enter 10 to specify the diameter of this circle. Now, as this circle is selected, I press Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and this circle has been copied and pasted in the same location as the original circle. I would like to move this circle in the negative x direction by 30 millimeters, so I press X, enter minus 30, and press Enter. And that way, I have created a circle whose center is shifted by 30 millimeters from this circle. I right click to accept it and select line drawing. I will place the first point of the line on this circle. It's important that it is connected with this circle. And I will place the second point of the line on this circle. But I am looking for a tangent tangent snap here, which means I would like this line to be tangent to both of these circles. As this snap is active, I click the left mouse button. Now I right click to finish drawing this line. Now we will draw the second line from this side. I select line drawing. Here, a snap has been activated that will connect the start of the line with this circle. I click in this place and then on this circle, looking for a tangent tangent snap. I right click and we have created something like this. Now I trim the segments of geometry. OK, we will close the construction plane. Now based on this geometry, we will add an extrusion. Select this geometry, drag it up a bit, and to specify a particular extrusion value, I press D and enter the value of 10 millimeters and press Enter to confirm. Now I will switch to edge selection. Now we will add offsets to these edges. We select these edges. To select all edges at once, hold down the Alt key on the keyboard and click on one line. Then press the O key on the keyboard and here I will set the offset to 5 millimeters. So I will press D, then 5 and enter to confirm and again enter to finish this command. Next we switch to face selection. Select this area and drag it down to minus 3 millimeters, which means press D, minus 3, hit enter and OK. We have created something like this. Now we will add another geometry. Choose rectangle drawing and draw a rectangle whose corner will coincide with this corner of the body and add the dimensions of this rectangle. I press the tab key here 30 millimeters. Tab key again, here 10, and hit enter. Now based on this rectangle, we will create another part of the body. Select this area, drag it up, and here we will add an extrusion of 35 millimeters, which means I press the D key, enter 35, hit enter, and enter again to confirm. Now I switch to edge selection and select these edges of the body. I select these two edges with the shift key and add a radius. Here I would like to add a fillet with the maximum possible radius and I can do this easily. I just click full and such a fillet has been created. I click OK to accept it. 
Next, I select to draw a circle. I place the center of the circle in the center of this fillet and press Tab and set the diameter of the circle to 10 millimeters and press Enter to confirm. We can immediately create a second circle with the center at the same point. Hit Tab and enter a diameter of 15. Hit Enter and we have something like this. Now I switch to face selection, select this circle and drag this gizmo so as to create an extrusion through the whole part of this body. Here, I choose the difference command so as to create a hole in this body, that is, I press the W key on the keyboard and then select this body as I want to make a hole in this body and press enter to confirm. Next, I select this area, gently drag it in this direction and here I enter D3 so that I perform this extrusion at 3 millimeters and here I also press W and select this body to make a hole in this body. I click OK to confirm. Now I will hide all flat geometries. I select the entire group of these geometries and click the eye icon next to the first one or we can simply press the H key on the keyboard. And so now we have two separate bodies here and we will perform a mirror of this body to get this body in this place. To do this, we select this body, choose the mirror command, and now we need to specify the mirror plane. We could use the plane going through the y-axis, but here we would need to know the offset value of this plane so as to precisely determine the location of this element. But we can also approach this in a different way. We can select the freestyle command here, that is, I press F on the keyboard and specify two points located on the mirror plane. So these will be points passing through the center of this body. I can, for example, use the center of this circle and, for example, the center of this slot. I click in this place, select these two points and I have a mirror done this way. I will set view roughly like this and this mirror plane passes through the center of the body. I click OK to confirm. Now these bodies are separate bodies, so I select all these bodies, press the Q key on the keyboard, and again Q to combine these bodies. I click OK and we have created such a body. We can add fillets and chamfers to the selected edges. OK. And here, if I would like to add a chamfer, for example, of size 1 mm, press the C key on the keyboard, enter 1, and hit enter. And now, for example, if I select this edge and here I want to add a chamfer or a fillet, automatically a chamfer or a fillet will be added to the entire chain so that the chamfer or fillet is on the whole body. And here I will also add a chamfer. I press C1, Enter and OK. That will be all. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel.